Hey guys, Gassa TV here with another YouTube video. Today we're going to go through a pretty big topic and that is specters. And we're talking mostly about new specters. And I figured this would be a good time and a good opportunity for me to shine my thoughts and opinions on the different type of specters you can use and in which way they can be utilized and where you can find them and all of the details around it. And this is a very big topic and if I were to go through everything in today's video, I would be talking for over an hour. So to make it easier for you guys, I will go through the theoretical stage in this video. I'll discuss all the uh, pros and cons of the specters in a TLDR format. And in the description, I will update the description of this video and simply link a new video for each specific specter, which I will go more in depth with and explain where you to get them, how you can utilize them, which type of builds can have them and uh, utilize them to, to the best degree uh, and also showcasing them on stream. Uh, sorry, on the in the YouTube video as well. Uh, and but before moving on with the video, uh, I will mention that I just quickly threw together an unoptimized soul rest build to show these specters with. So the builds in the videos in the links in the description will simply be rather low budget builds with a decent helmet, and they are more more of a display for how these specters can look. So you can see the specters in the video right now are the Sintel Synthed specters from the synthesized content. Uh, so I'm going to go through all the specters in this video and uh, simply if you want to check out their gameplay uh, there will be links in the description below and I will upload as many as I can till they're all uploaded so you can use this video as a hub to navigate through all the specters. So without further ado I'm going to go through a list of 19 specters I believe it was. Uh, and we're going to have divided them up in different groups and having some offensive specters uh, in different pros and cons with these. And we're also going to talk about defensive and utility specters as well as cursing specters. Uh, obviously, there is a long list of other specters and these are the specters that I can vouch for. These are the specters that I can give you, you know, black and white direct information about. I know there's some other uh, information um, based off what people have found such as the Arena Masters, and there's a couple of other Spectres that are really popular to be used as well, but I will only be mentioning Spectres that I know performs, and I, that I know the numbers of, or that I can show you the numbers of. But we're going to start this off by going into the Solar Guards first, uh, which will most likely be the first video for a lot of reasons. So, before moving on, I just wanted to say thank you to everyone who's been subscribing, liking, and commenting on the videos, and watching the entire video, and all of that, because I need all the help I can get with the YouTube channel since it got hacked. I appreciate all the support. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button and let me know in the comments below if you think I missed any factors or if you think that there is anything else I should cover in this. And also let me know what you feel about these uh, type of specters that I'm promoting in, in the comments I will put forward for you. So, we're going to move on. Uh, first off, for new players, the way you can find information on specters is very vague in this game. So what you do, for example, if you're looking at Solar Guards, all you do is you Google P-O-E-D-D space Solar Guard. By doing this, you take the PODB link, it's uh, .tw, and if it's in not in English, you can go up here in the URL and make sure you dash, add forward US forward and in between the links here. Otherwise, it looks like this. And uh, can, wait, did it actually change back, didn't it? Oh, maybe they fixed it. Either way, uh, so we're here, and it's in English. Then you want to make sure that it's not a level 59. You want to look around the level 82 monsters. And the first thing we're looking at are two things. First off, their defensive stats and their um, offensive stats. Uh, as you can see here, the map version of these, which doesn't really matter because uh, they're scaling up with you. So they have some base fire resistance. Everything else starts on zero, so we know that. Uh, we also can see there at the area level 82, Solar Guard has a uh, total life of 12,500 base HP with... Uh, 17,000 armor, 8k evasion, 3k energy shield on top of that with a base fire resist of 75. So we get all the information here. We have the attack time, which doesn't matter unless it's an attacking minion. So that's about it. That's the defensive information that we're looking at. The offensive information is these abilities. Now these can be very hard to read and interpret, it, but I'm going to go through and show you a lot of specters here. And I'm going to go through a TLDR version of this and more detail will be in the separate videos in the description below. So as you can see here, they have a special beam cannon. Now, as you will see in the video linked in the description by tomorrow, 
Um, you will see these uh, uh, minions or these specters do a special beam cannon, which deals 2k or 2.1 up to 3.1k fire damage. It has an 8 second cooldown with a 2.5 second cast time. Not very good, actually. It's not something we like them to use. It does a little bit more damage than your average fireball spamming, which is why they're usually used to mainly have them as clearing speed specters. Uh, because this is a very fast cast time with a little bit lower damage, uh, but will also be able to be scaled with things like AoE, similar to the cannon, but most importantly, projectiles, and they already fire three projectiles as is. Uh, so with this in mind, having GMP will give them a lot of extra projectiles and they do a lot of damage as these fireballs have an explosion effect. You can actually scale them with things like AOE uh, modifiers. And I notice myself I'm talking too much about everything here. So the TLDR is this. Solar Guards is one of the better clearing speed specters you'll ever find till you get to the end game content where you can get something that could be arguably better for your build over your like or your preference of playing the game. The only difference is that some of those other options, which you'll see in this video, doesn't come uh, become available to you in Counter Serving Conquerors, uh, certain uh, synthesized maps, or even delving and some of them even from uh, breach stones uh, or breaches. So with that in mind, Solar Guards can be found in the Solaris Conqueror, Solaris Temple 1 and 2 and Harbor Bridge. All of this information is found in this link by simply googling PoE DB Solar Guard and just click in the PoE DB link and you get access to it. It's very simple. Obviously, there will be a link to this in the description below uh, as well. So that's basically one of the things that you can do. And these are generally used as clearing speed specters. With enough budget, you can make them kill bosses as well. But in them, for the most part, uh, the builds you utilize for builds that has something else to do bosses with. Um, so that's the Solar Guards. The Synth... I can't even pronounce it. Synthil Synthit, uh, which are the specters that you see here. Pretty cool looking motherfuckers. Uh, same thing here. PODB Synthil... I can't even spell it, whatever. Uh, Synthil... There we go. Um, they're available in Cortex, Wisdom Distant Memories, Fragmented Memories, Memory Void, they're, like, they're available in a range of different areas. These freaking... I'm trying not to swear too much. They have a base resistance of 85 Lightning, uh, 35,000 HP, super tanky guys. Uh, attack time doesn't matter, damage doesn't matter because they're not hitting. 15k armor, and then they have 70,000 energy shield. Now this is not accurate. Obviously, this is not accurate, otherwise they would be literally unkillable. That's not the case. Uh, they don't have that much energy shield, I can guarantee you that. I've seen them die on uh, Awakener sometimes, even with pretty good investments. However, what we are looking into is... Um, let's see, where, where is it? Life modifiers, 500% to 200%. Because as soon as the number starts to get a bit uh, annoyingly ridiculous, this is what the enemy uh, will have in terms of defense. So they have about 105,000 HP, which makes sense. However, uh, the Solar Guard seems to be accurate, but I did notice that Spectres or Minions that are available from other content, such as Synthesized the Enemies, uh, breach stones and delving all of these things that are that are new for us to be able to rise as specters uh, have these numbers displaying and people think that that's their actual defense it's not actually the case uh, so we want to look at their their life and their energy shield uh, from um, from life modifiers and these things seems to be pretty accurate in this uh, specific approach. So they are pretty tanky, but I do believe that these numbers are a little bit overkill. Might be wrong though, doesn't really matter. Uh, so we're looking at the damage modifiers. So the problem with these specters are a couple of things. First thing, when you try to decipher the numbers here, first off, we have the monster projectile spell. This is a soul, uh, soul steel or projectile lightning. No one knows what that really means. These have a sort of a projectile lightning ba uh, base attack, uh, which you can then GMP, for example, and they have a cast time of 1.33, which is much higher than the 0 0.85 from the solar guards. They have a 900 base damage on the lower end and a 2.7k almost on the high end, which is averagely lower than the type of damage you see from the solar guards. Then we have the laser. Now, all it says is geometry spell, synthesis, soul steal, laser, and that's, that's really all the information we have. Almost dealing no damage in comparison to, um, uh, to the, uh, the projectile. However, this one has a few other things to, to its mechanics that um, this one does not have. First off, this projectile, uh, I do believe they have an inherited three projectile when they're shooting, so GMP will make that more. But 
it neither forks, pierces, or explodes, some, uh, something like the Solar Guard is doing. Because if the Solar Guard's fireballs hit something, they will explode, and you actually have an AoE effect, able to scale them with AoE effects, such as Concentrate Effect on Elder Helmets and whatnot, and more of these details in these separate videos, obviously. But that means that their actual projectile spell is not very good for clearing, it just looks very cool. Uh, however, the laser is like a beam that goes across the field uh, and hits everything that it touches. It's not very long, and that's definitely what she said. Um, <clears throat> either way, uh, deals less damage, but usually specters that are being focused for on uh, deals enough damage either way for clearing. So even if it deals a lot less damage than the projectiles, it hits more enemies, making it a better spell for them to use which has a one second cooldown, uh, or sorry, cast time. The problem with this is that they don't always use this. They have two different abilities, so they will alternate between these two abilities. And as soon as a minion that you're using as a specter has several different um, abilities, they will start to alterate, uh, alternate between them. And as soon as they start doing that, the specter will lose efficiency because you might want them to use one spell, but they're using, every time they use the in inefficient one, they will become inefficient and unreliable in terms of their performance. And then we have the Elder Bolt, almost dealing no damage. It's like an attachment for total duration uh, for 0 0.26 si uh, six seconds. This is another cast that they do every now and then, which is completely useless. And obviously the, the problem with this is that whenever they're using this one, they can shoot things on the far away. And this is the big clearing one. They look cool, they're nice to use. It's a matter of personal taste. However, the pro of these is that they do have lightning damage and that's about it. So moving on to the next one, try to be a little bit. I can't click the link, there we go. Uh, so, the Baronite Sisters, they're a bit special. Uh, Baronite comes from the Red Conqueror Baron. When you spawn him or her, her him, her, when you spawn Baron on uh, the Atlas, you will have maps with this influence, and in these influence maps, you will then be able to uh, kill Baronite Sisters or the next Spectre in line, which are the Baronite, uh, no, that's not it, Baronite... Thaumaturge, we're going to look at them later, they'll have the same thing where you have to kill these enemies in the map, then raise them as a specter, then you should go back out to your hideout so that they will be available on the Desecrate pool in your hideout. Uh, so the Baronet Sisters are pretty interesting, they have this monster mortar ability, um, which is dealing lightning damage, it's kind of bouncing back and forth, and it also has an impact effect, which is like a collateral splash effect, which means that they can be scaled with area of effect, such as conch effect or increased area, which is not very good, but since you can scale with conch effect, which is a more damage multiplier, make them rather uh, effective in that sense. It looks like some sort of mix between magma orb and kinetic bolt kind of deal with lightning damage. Uh, however, again, I've tried these out. They feel pretty okay on single target damage. I feel that they are better for single targets, such as the Thaumaturge that we'll talk about in a bit. Uh, but I felt that they were rather subpar because of the limited range in terms of clearing, where again, Solar Guards would, would excel and I would rather use a Sintil Synthet over the um, Baronite Sisters myself for clearing. But they look really cool. And again, another pro is that they do use lightning damage and it's a bit hard to find uh, specific elemental damage depending on how you want to approach your build. Uh, so this is definitely something to look out for. Baronite Sisters obviously will be a set standalone video for this in the description below. So we're going to move on to a very popular um, choice uh, recently, which has been the Redemption Sentries. Uh, and the Redemption Sentries uh, are a little bit special uh, when it comes to these. They have cold damage, but they also have physical damage. And it seems like, based on what I can read from these numbers, is that they have uh, a geometry spell, a Eerie Archer Crystal Impact, which is a cold damage spell they're not attacking it's actually a spell which is very interesting uh, which deals quite a lot of damage as a cast on one second which is rather generic and then they have this geometry projectiles attack which indicates that they should actually have an, an actual attack which has 75% of physical damage converted to coal, which makes me um, assume that they actually have 100% physical damage and the 75% of that is then converted into coal damage and therefore doing coal damage. And then we have a uh, the similar things here that seems to just be a replicas of these abilities. 
and then default attack, which seems to be the same thing, arrow projectile. However, GGG has made changes so the Spectres actually are more inclined to use their spells rather than attacking, so which means that these should not happen from these Spectres, and therefore they will be casting this ability in this ability right here. And this is a generic more skill like Monster Projectiles, but has an impact effect, again, able to scale from a Wii effect like concentrated, concentrated effect uh, support champs on an Elder Helmet, Cool on 10 seconds, long cast time. So these will be the similar to the cold version um, of Solar Guards. And as you can see here, it only says triggerable, but it does say impact. And as you'll see in the video, there will be a small explosion happening from these, which makes them me feel that it's more like a fireball, a cold fireball or ice ball or whatever you want to call it. Similar mechanics around it, where you are able to actually create collateral splash effects from these cold hits to clear packs with splashing, which means the uh, the uh, redemption sentries might be one of the absolute best specters you can use for the sake of clearing, uh, based on my personal opinions from what I've seen. And we're going to be testing all these specters live on stream in the coming days, so I can actually get these standalone videos where I fill in any information I might have missed in this video today, as well as getting you proper information and a display of all the minions. Uh, but these are something I really, really appreciate, and I'm going kind to of look forward to actually playing with the Redemption Sentries. Next in line, we got the Cannibal Fire Raiders, which I know there's a couple of guys in my community that have been screaming for. You find them ashore on the ledge. Uh, they have an Incinerate ability. Basically, they stand still and shoot down a lot of flames in front of them. Uh, 0 0.33 cast time. Uh, the attack's never happening. Has a 700 to 1000 fire damage, but with a cast time of 0 0.33, that ramps up quite fucking fast, and they do a lot of damage with this. Um, and uh, that's very easy to scale. They can do tons of damage, decent clearing, though not off screening since the range is rather limited. Pretty decent boss damage as well since they're doing fire. Rather easy to use something like an anger aura, apply yourself with elemental equilibrium for lightning or, or cold if you want to, and that's very easy to do. So these are a very solid choice to use as well. I've never personally liked them because I feel that due to their range limitation, I'm not a big fan of them for clearing, and I feel that there are better options for a single target where I would rather use like skeletons, though skeletons did receive a pretty hefty nerf rather recently. But for those of you who would like the Fireball Eaters, check out the video in the description below in a couple of days. Um, next in line is Frost Sentinels. The only reason I added this to the list is because some people want don't want to use fire damage. So like I mentioned before, you have to kind of decide how you want to play your Spectre. Some people want to go physical damage, which is not really popular or good at this point right now. So instead, people are looking into cold or fire. And the fire, the obvious choice for fire damage before you get your endgame Spectres or you want to keep these would be the Solar Guards. The equivalent of that when it comes to cold damage would be the Frost Sentinels. And if we look at these numbers, they have far less damage than... Um, the damage that you get from the solar guards they don't have uh, a projectile impact effect uh, instead these are ice spears would then goes out into a second form to get more crit which will then deal more damage and then not until they go into their second form similar to how ice spear normally works uh, is the damage equivalent to a decent specter so that means that as soon as enemies are close to your specters their damage will be limited however for clearing that is fine but for bosses you want to make sure that your specters are away from him so your projectiles from your from your specters are able to actually enter the second form before hitting the boss which is easily done with something like zombies or skeletons or whatever you want to use to have as a, a frontline minion as clearing will be fine anyways something i could recommend would be something like chaining that you could change for something else and uh, when it comes to a single target you could even have chaining and barrage support you have chain for clearing so that your ice spirits will actually help clearing and then change that over to barrage support for single target bossing when you get to the boss so there's always solutions around these problems but frost sentinels would definitely be the cold of damage version of the early game specters that you can use till the point where you might want to choose to change them or not Baronite Thaumaturge, as I mentioned before, would be the equivalent style of the Baronite Sisters. You have to go through the Baron Conquerors to get these fuckers. And these are very, very interesting. Similar problem to the Sintil Synthete, their projectile GMP attack, Mage Card Projectile, deals a shitload of damage. However, it doesn't have fork, piercing, nor explosive impact effects, so their clearing is a bit, little bit so-so. However, 
You see here the geometry spell, the Atlas X Lock Crusader Mage Guard Bomb Explode deals 2.3 up to 7,000 lightning damage, which for some reason is spell equable. It's like a mine ability that they place a handful of dots on the ground which charges up and explodes, which means duration. The problem I've noticed with this is actually that uh, we're in a situation where they do not scale with less duration, which can be, fly, be uh, supported through an uh, in influenced helmet and even less duration support gem. But I've already tested this. That does not work. Uh, so I also assume since that doesn't work, that it actually doesn't have a duration modifier that would is scalable, which should mean that you can't scale their damage on um, on the end with that either. However, this is what you can do to burst boss damage down. It's, it's insane how effective this is. The only problem is that the charge takes a few seconds before they explode. So if the enemy is mobile and runs away from these dots on the ground, like Phoenix boss, for example, cycloning away, uh, you might miss your burst and have to wait for your specters to actually decide to, to cast them again. Because similar to other specters, these uh, have the same problem with having too many abilities to use. They have the exact replica of abilities that the Solar Guard has without the collateral splash effect. And then they have this one as well. Because they also have the beam ability similar to the uh, Solar Guards, which is an AoE effect beam, which obviously deals less damage to the projectiles. But their projectiles, unlike the Solar Guards, does not splash and clear well for you, which makes it it's, uh, a subpar clearing option. So again, that would be a really good bossing ability, but sometimes yeah, they, the boss moves away and you have to cast it again. It's really frustrating. Next in line would be the classical slave drivers. These specters are one of my favorites. You'll find them in the control blocks. Definitely one of my favorite. They have a flame surge ability, which is then uh, for these specific ones translated into a lightning version of it. It's basically a whip that they slam uh, cast out on the ground. You can spell echo it. It deals a shitload of damage with enough area um, invested to your uh, to your specters. They can do pretty good clearing with these, pretty good range on them. And then you can just change something like an increased area of effect into concentrated effect, and suddenly they have a shitload of damage even for single target and the cast time on this is 0 0.5 seconds with a 1500 up to 4.4k lightning damage which is absolutely disgusting on top of that being spell equable slave drivers have been my favorite specters for a very long time due to the efficiency based on their numbers alone which is absolutely crazy so they're very generic and very very solid to use and i'm actually really looking forward to trying them out and comparing them with the redemption centuries because to me i feel like those two are the two big dogs in terms of offense specters now, I know some people have been mentioning Scale of Esh to me, and I'm going to talk about it. The problem with Scale of Esh, which is found in the Esh domain, is the main fact that they have too many abilities, and some of them are completely useless. They look very cool. It's the spiders from the Esh area. And as you can see here, they have a range of different abilities. Uh, in here, I don't see anything that summons minions. They have an ability that they summon small spiders, which are not casting spells. They're doing a normal attack. They do almost no damage. They're not very tanky, so they're just in the way. Obviously, they can be pretty nice because they can block off enemies from you, but they're kind of useless. They have a, a flame whip similar to the slave driver ability. The difference with this version is that first off, it deals less damage than the slave driver's lightning whip. It also has a slower cast time. On top of this, it has a five second cooldown. So this is basically slave drivers, but they pretty much neutered them. So we look at the other abilities that they will actually be using. We have a five second cooldown light breach lightning orb, basically doing almost no damage and lasts for three seconds and one second uh, cast time with a five second cooldown. This one is obviously scaled very differently compared to the flame uh, to the lightning whip uh, and it's completely useless. Whenever they whenever they cast this, it would only be OK when they're clearing, which would still be subpar. Uh, the other ability would be the breach arc. The problem with the arc is that on paper it would look, look just hearing it. They have arc. That's amazing. But this minion skill changed zero times means that they have a single target arc with the worst damage I've seen in the history of Spectres. 0 0.5 second cast time? Great. Still doing a fraction of the damage the lightning whip from the slave drivers are doing and it has 10% chance of shock. That's it. That is completely useless. So these Spectres are, in my opinion, complete trash. There's That's the reason why there will not be a video down below in the descriptions for these Spectres alone, because the Slave Divers are basically these Spectres, but on steroids. 
So we're going to move on and talk about defensive and utility specters. Now, there's a couple of options here, and the reason I didn't bring in specters like the Arena Masters is because we don't have exact numbers on what exactly Arena Masters are doing. I do know that they give you some buffs. There's a couple of other buffers out there, but we're going to avoid things we don't. We, I'm not able to give you black and white information on. Undying Evangelist, however, I can give you black and white information about. You're finding them in the Scepter of God, the Upper Scepter of God, or the Grand Promenade. These uh, guys have two different abilities. They have a delayed physical spell damage blast, basically doing no damage. It's a 1.3 second cooldown, which is really annoying. However, it is spell echoable. Uh, and then you have them uh, doing pretty bad damage. However, it is physical damage, which can then be applied through modifiers that gives them more damage based on the physical damage, like Hatred, for example, where they get a portion of their physical damage added as extra cold. So there's a a lot of a lot of things you can do with physical damage dealing minions which is why, why a lot of people are, want to go for physical damage minions however they have proximity shields now this is the important part this proximity shield has an 18 second cooldown but you have an eight second duration and i will go through this in the description in the specific video for these specters the idea to use these in a proper way is to make sure that the duration is higher than the cooldown but even when the cooldown is off doesn't mean that they guarantee to summon their sh the new shield immediately. It can take a second, maybe two, sometimes even three seconds before they recast the shield. So having multiple of these specters, two or three is usually enough uh, to have them somewhat overlap them is basically a way for you to always have this proximity shield bubble on your character and your minions, which means that enemies attack or spells that's coming from outside the bubble will not be able to do damage to you inside the bubble. So they're very cool defensive design specters. The other defense specter that I want to talk about are one of the new ones, which are Thay of Tool, available in the Tools domain, Breach. These guys might arguably be one of the absolute most insane buffers in the game for when it comes to specters for defensive measures. They have some random ass bullshit damage. Then they have this buff. It's a 10 second duration with a 9 second cooldown. Now, when you're playing Necromancer, you usually are going for Mr. Sacrifice. So already from your ascendancy that you're already going to take, you have way more duration than the cooldowns. So you don't even have to think about getting minion duration. They're already sorted. They have a higher duration than cooldown. On a buff that gives you 15% reduced damage taken, just like that, across the board. That applies to spells and physical damage. On top of this, you get 20% chance to dodge attacks and dodge spell hits. I don't know what to say. This is one of the absolute most disgusting defensively designed specters in the game. And I think that when a lot of people get the hang of this, if a lot of people start playing with this, it will be considered abuse. And then I'm pretty sure GGG will go ahead and nerf the shit out of these. These are the best specters you can use specifically for hardcore in co content because of 15% reduced damage taken just like that. Plus 40% dodge, 20 on attacks and 20 on hits. For spells, it's crazy, absolutely disgusting. So these are going to be very fun to play with, play around with. And then we have other utility specters are Carnage Chieftains, found in the old fields, Broken Bridge or the Ashen Fields. I usually go to the Ashen Fields because when I do this, I usually include Host Chieftains, and both are available in the Ashen Fields. So you should go there. Uh, however, you can find the Carnage in the old fields on Broken Bridge, and the Host Chieftain can be found in the Riverways of Southern Forest as well. So what do these little uh, guys do? These are the Carnage Apes. They generate charges. And they have been proven not to always cast their ability unless they're linked with Blood Magic, which is why it's very popular to link them with Blood Magic to force them to more often cast their ability. The Carnage Chieftain generates Frenzy Charge to yourself as well as allies in the near proximity. That includes your minions and party members. So that's how you can generate Frenzy Charge for your minions. And Host Chieftain does the exact same thing, but with power charges. And I'll be explaining exactly how charges affect minions differently from on minions than they affect players. And I'll talk about that more in depth in the specific video for these. But that's how we generate free charges for ourselves and our minions in a very common and very effective and easy way. And the last four specters we're going to talk about are four different cursing specters. There are a range of different cursing specters in the game. I took taken the four ones that I do generally prefer to take if I decide to use cursing specters, which I pretty much never do because cursing is very easy to achieve. 
But for the sake of video, I'm going to talk about these real quick. We've got the Death Bishop from the Catacombs Ancient Pyramid or Caverns. Uh, and they curse with the Frostbite to give minus 40% cold resistance. This is scaling. This ability scales with their level. It seems to me that they, there's some sort of threshold around level 70 where they go up to minus 40% uh, cold resistance. The reason I don't usually care about these is because endgame bosses have curse effect reduction so that these curses don't like to do as much as they should, but they do this to the normal enemies that you're clearing in a map where again, you don't really need much damage to clear them. So the Frostbite Spectres are the Death Bishop. I got the Ash Prophet, which is my preferred choice if I was going to curse with flammability. Same thing here. Threshold seems to be between 68 and 73. So I'm assuming level 70 to go from 30 to 40 minus rest and 2% extra chance of being ignited. Same thing here. You can find these in lower price in Crematorium Ancient Pyramid or the Caverns. And then we get the Reanimator. And these have been used in quite a few builds because they curse with Enfeeble uh, to keep up with... Um, extra defensive mechanisms for example in hardcore however again like i mentioned Thay of tool should be so much better so we got enfeeble curse from these guys you find them in the lunaris temple level one and then last but not least we have temporal chains cursing from the mortality experimenter found in ebony barracks and lunaris temple level one and they curse temporal chains and again there seems to be a um difference in terms of their defense on levels obviously but when it comes to the curse as you can see here it's 4 20 40 10 4 20 40 10 doesn't change it doesn't seem like they have any threshold of scaling them to portal chains uh curse when it comes to the mortality experimenter and that's really it i think that covers uh, the video of the specters and i like i mentioned in the start of the video this will serve as a hub i will have videos as i have them ready edited into the description below so just make sure you bookmark this video and uh, peek in every now and then and you'll see some new videos coming out where i'm going to go into de in depth with the other specters and talk about them and we'll go through different support gems you can use for them that will be optimized different type of helmets that you can use for them which is rather popular um, and uh, what type of skills you can use to scale them with and also what type of builds can you utilize them in a very very effective way so I know it's a lot of videos, uh, but I think this will be the best to keep this video a little bit shorter so you guys can have all the information you need. I know this one is a little bit long. I'll try to keep the, the every unique Spectre video a little bit shorter than this one. I, I promise you guys that. Anyways, let me know in the comments below if you think I missed a Spectre that you think I should have shown. Keep in mind, I'm trying to stay within the lines of being able to promote uh, showcase videos with black and white information that we know for sure this is how they work so things like the arena master that i don't have any numbers on i cannot promote that and feel confident about promoting it but let me know in the comments below if you think i missed anything that i should have mentioned i'm sure there are plenty of others like the Valris and advocates is a great great addition um i think that it's because it locked behind the alva i'm not a big fan of show talking about it too much because then solar guys would be better and it's just another extra thing on the side if you want to but let me know in the comments below what you think and um that's about it hit the like button for and subscribe for more content and comment what you guys think and uh until next time stay safe and keep rocking boys